Hey, this is Amy Fox with the Food and Mood Lab. I'm gonna show you at least five ideas in this video of what's in my rotation for proteins. If you've watched any of my videos or looked at my blogs, you know that I focus on having um, at least about 100 grams of protein in my diet every day. I love making sure that my proteins are included in meals and snacks. There's so many benefits to having protein at the center of your meals. Um, whether it's muscle repair or just feeling satiated, um, fighting cravings of hunger, or just again, keeping your energy levels at a stable level and avoiding crashes, so tons of benefits. But I personally love to make sure I have my proteins ready as part of my meal prep because it just keeps me on track. Having it handy, um, I don't even think about it, I just eat healthy. So protein, um, having it ready and finding quick and easy ways to do it. I'm a busy working mom, so I don't have the luxury of making these um, very uh, elaborate meals. I've got to typically have food ready so I can pull together lunches and dinner. So I'll share a few ideas here and then I'm going to share more on the blog. So go there. I hope this is your go-to place when you're wondering, what do I make? I know I need to eat healthy. I know I need to eat protein, but what do I make? So I'll share a few ideas. And also I've got a ton of leftovers. I overcooked this week. So I'm going to start freezing some of this stuff. So I've got no excuses to eat the protein. Chicken is number one, no surprise. So I've got a ton of chicken here. I always make sure I'm cooking at least eight to 10 batches of uh, eight to 10 pounds of protein. Um, and my one of my go-to recipes is one by Chris Powell that I put in the crock pot. It's 10 minutes or less of prep. I get Fiesta salsa, it's the green salsa with some ranch, dry ranch seasoning, shake it up, put it in the crock pot, set it and forget it. So having chicken breast as well as boneless, skinless chicken thighs is key. So number one, making sure that you have that. I'll also, again, I'll share on my blog all kinds of ideas uh, on ways to change it up from crock pot to baking to grilling. Second is having ground beef or ground turkey on hand. And I make sure that I have pounds of it so that if I wanna make it, I can, again, can freeze it after it's made. But I love having ground turkey, 93%. I choose 93% just because it tastes good and that, that that's okay, that's there. Um, and then I also choose sometimes um, grass-fed beef, uh, lean beef, or even bison. And I'll make big batches because it's easy to get, easy to throw together bowls. You can microwave some veggies or have some rice. I can also stuff a baked potato, a sweet baked potato, or even roll it in a wrap. So un unlimited options when you have ground beef or turkey ready. So always have that on hand. Second is um, I have tilapia. So I will buy big bags of frozen wild tilapia, any fish. And it's really no excuse for me if I don't have anything fresh, I've got these in the freezer. I take out what I need, put them in a pot of water. There, it's simple to pull together, bake it for 10 minutes with all sorts of spices or put it in the air fryer. So I'll share some recipes on my go-to fish uh, options. Um, I love to have flank steak. Flank steak is one of the healthiest beef options and I'll make sure that I have two or three packs. I can grill it, it's thin. I can grill it or put, even put it in the broiler. In 10 minutes, I've got all sorts of options for bowls or wraps or fajitas. Um, and so we're a big steak family, so we'll get flank steak. I also have a great marinade that I'll share with you. And the last is eggs. I always have a tall carton of egg whites in the fridge. And who can't whip up an omelet in 10 minutes, an egg white omelet? You can throw whatever vegetables you have. But a lot of times I also make my own egg white bites. So I will spray muffin tins and literally pour three-fourths of in the muffin tin. I'll put some salt and pepper and whatever chopped veggies I have and I put them and bake them at 350 for about 10 or 15 minutes, just watch them, and I bag them, and they'll stay for a week and I'll have egg white bites. So those are my five proteins that are in the mix with some recipe ideas. I'm gonna share a whole bunch more with links to the recipes. Some are mine, some are my favorite from others. So you wanna work, bookmark this, go to the blog, and hopefully it just can help you to kind of stay healthy and have just some different ways of 
prepping food for the week or just making dinner for your family. Thanks and make it a great day.